What's happening everybody? Welcome to today's video. I'm just gonna go over some grip stuff today. Fun, right? Yes. So I do want to first start off by saying that what I, how I recommend doing this day is gonna be maybe on the day that you don't do your regular training just because it's, it's a little bit easier of an exercise. So I normally work out five days throughout the week. Today is gonna be like day number six and all I'm going to do is just do like, th I'm going to pick three grip exercises and I'm going to go decently hard at them and that's what I'm going to do today. I think everybody should train their grip. Grip training is definitely important for a lot of different things, whether it be you're, you're a bodybuilder, you're a power lifter, you're a strongman, you're a crossfitter. Okay, so maybe not crossfitting. I'm just teasing. Maybe, maybe they have a, a good use for it too. But either way, all these sports have a practical implication for grip strength. In my opinion, strongman for obvious reasons, they hold on to stuff all the time. Bodybuilders, I don't know, maybe a way just to get their forearms a little bit a little bit bigger or whatever. And then powerlifting, obviously, you know, deadlifting. Because in powerlifting, if, which is what I do, you have to be able to hold on to the bar while you deadlift. With the strength of your own hands, you don't get to use straps. And a lot of the times, I see a lot of people that the limiting factor for them on the deadlift is their grip strength. Like they're able to deadlift a lot more with straps than they can without straps, just using their bare hands. Now, I think that is a bit of a problem. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Um, I think I've even covered that before. But, so, the exercises I'm gonna do today are gonna be just double overhand holds without a hook grip. If you don't know what a hook grip is, I have a video, go look through. I'll, I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, so just regular double overhand holds. I'm gonna do some plate flips, and then I'm gonna do some uh, grippers that I have like right over here. Now, First, to start off with uh, the double overhand holds with the bar, everybody kind of has access to this. This is something anybody should be able to do. If you have a barbell, great, this is all you need. So this one's really good for building grip strength for the deadlift, and I say that because it's so specific to the movement because it is a deadlift with an overhand hold. So I think, I think that's going to be your best shot at increasing your grip strength whether it be like once you go back over to mix grip or hook grip, it, practicing double overhand holds is going to help your grip strength a lot because it's just so specific to the deadlift movement itself because it is deadlifting. So this is what I like to do. I'm going to start with this. Here we go. So, so yeah, that was fun. So pretty much how I usually like to do those is I just work up to something pretty heavy for me today. That was 565. That felt hard enough. Tried 585 with a pair of wrist wraps. Now, the reason I used the wrist wraps was because it just puts a little bit of extra pressure right here and helps you just kind of squeeze the bar a little bit more. Because if you sit here and squeeze your hand, you know, like this, it just makes your hand kind of close without you having to do anything. That's the whole idea behind that whatever and then afterwards I just did some some holds on the back down sets you can even do this during your like normal deadlift training routine and that's usually what I do every week too um, I'll just like work up to whatever I can do with uh, with my grip strength you know just regular overhand and then from there I'll usually switch over to either using like a mixed grip for a set or two hook grip for my top sets or straps or whatever I want to do there and yeah I think that's a great way to build your grip strength specifically for deadlifting because like I said earlier it is deadlifting all right so now let's uh, just move on to the next one All right, so yeah, plate flips. So pretty much what I do there is I, I start with the 10 kilo plates and work my way up to the 25 kilo plates. Um, and, and yeah, like I just, I, I'll like kind of cycle through them, work my way up to the, you know, like I said, the 25 kilo plates. I'll flip it as many times as I can with each hand until I get tired, go back down to the 20, so on and so forth until I get back down to the 10, just get like a good pump and a good burn. And yeah, I don't know, it makes me feel, makes me feel athletic or, or something because I have to be somewhat coordinated to be able to catch it back at the top and stop it before it hits the ground. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's fun to do. 
it seems to help like my my pinch grip strength quite a bit because you know I have to just reach down and grab it real hard especially stopping the momentum of the plate as it's falling down so not only having to hold the plate we're having to catch it out of the air as it's falling so I don't know it's pretty cool all right next exercise so now we're gonna move on to some training with the grippers now the one I'm holding right here is from Grip Genie. Now that's Juju Mufu's company, and I highly recommend going to support my boys over there because I love these guys. I love what they do for the fitness community, and if you choose to buy grippers, buy it from them because they are the best people right now. I love them, so. But what I'm gonna demonstrate with today is gonna be the Captains of Crush grippers just because those are a little bit more universal, and I think a lot more people are like are able to recognize you know, like what the numbers on these mean as opposed to maybe this brand because it's a little bit newer. So I'm just going to do the grip workout today with the Captain's of Crush. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and start in order here. So this one is the number two. I have smaller ones in my car, but I'm just going to start with the number two because those other ones are too easy to do for this one. Okay, close enough. Number two. Not too bad. Left hand. Okay. All right, so we got the two and a half here. All right, not too bad. Try to refocus this here. All right, not too bad. All right, so as you can see here, we got the number three. Hands are pretty fried from, uh, you know, my other sets and the double overhand stuff, but I'm going to give this one a shot. So I have done this one a couple times before. I have witnesses. So. Just in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> oh, we're close. Okay. Left hand. I've actually never done it with my left hand, so let's let's just try for some reason. <clears throat> oh. You see, it's okay to fail sometimes. It's okay to show your failures on the internet sometimes. See? All right, well, that wasn't very exciting working up to it. All right, so now that I got like the hard stuff out of the way, I'll save you guys the, the trouble of the rest of this little deal. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take like the two, one and a half, and then the one, Captain's a Crush, and then I'm just gonna do like as many reps as I can on each one until my hands get tired. So I'm just gonna kinda sit here, so I got the two right here, and I'm just gonna sit here and crank it out until my hands get tired. And then, you know, I switch hands and so on and so forth. Now, what is this one even good for? Like, what is this exercise good for? Well, maybe stuff like, you know, when there's that guy who's, uh, who likes to shake your hand way too hard because he can see that you're kind of muscular and he can tell that you maybe you lift weights, but he's a tough guy, so he's got to shake your hand real hard. Well, now you're ready for this guy. So, you know, you tell him, bring it on, because I guarantee you, the, nobody has crushed my hand in a long time. Besides Ed Cohen, so that's actually, I'm actually training for the next time I shake Ed's hand because I'm gonna crush it next time we meet. All right, and then, and then yeah, so pretty much by the time I got to the, the captains of crush, my grip was already a little fried. I swear I've actually done the number three like several times before. It just it just wasn't really there today. Um, but but yeah, so pretty much how I lay out the workout is if I'm just gonna pick three little exercises to do on a little recovery day like this today, I do it like I do a, a hold, like a static hold, so the barbell over there, and then I do like some kind of pinch, right? And then, which was the plate, the plate flips, because that's like my pinch grip strength. And then I do some kind of dynamic, which is gonna be the grippers. Dynamic meaning like, you're moving your hand like you know you're crushing it actively like this so yeah static hold pinch dynamic simple all right and just for the heck of it let's go on to a couple of other exercises i like to do to train grip and maybe some things that you know i'll do next time i train grip all right so what i have here is an axle bar you know pretty big around and if you look at it i can like barely get my thumb to like touch my middle finger so you know decently bigger around than a barbell. Um, the way I recommend using this, same thing. Just do double overhand holds on it like you would with the barbell, but just do it with this instead. It's quite a bit harder. I think my best on this is like more than 200 pounds less than it is for my double overhand hold on the barbell. So axle holds, also great if you're looking for a static hold movement. All right, 
So now what we got here is a rolling handle, and I don't even know how big around it is, but it's pretty big. Now you guys might be familiar with the Iron Mind Rolling Thunder, um, but what I have here is way better than the Rolling Thunder, and it's also a lot harder. Um, this is actually the, the Rolling Handle by Grip Genie, aka Jujimufu, once again. And man, this thing is like so well made. The bearings in it spin really, really well. Um, you know, it even comes with like a little uh, a little loading pin. So pretty much how it works is you load the you load the weights on here. You stand over it like this, grab onto it. You pick it up, you hold it, you put it back down. Same thing. And the challenge of this is that the handle spins, making it very difficult to hold on to a very much weight on it at all. Um, now that one is significantly harder than the, the Iron Mind, there's one in here somewhere, that's why I keep pointing on here, but that one's significantly harder than the Iron Mind Rolling Thunder. So, another good movement for like, kind of like a, I don't even know if I'd call this one static, I guess, but yeah, it's just really hard, and it's gonna make your grip stronger. You can even do stuff like if you happen to have two of them, you can put them on a pull-up bar with the carabiners, and like do pull-ups with them, or you can do like some farmer's walks with them. Any way you use it, it's gonna be fantastic. All right, so the next one is gonna be another pinch grip device and once again this one is brought to you by the grip genie now these are definitely shameless plugs because their stuff is just so awesome and i really love it um yeah so this one same works similar to the the rolling handle you load the you put the loading pin on here with the carabiner you load weights on there you grab it over the top like this you pick it up you hold it you see you can see how much weight you can do for one like just picking it up and putting it back down or you can just do holds with it like that fantastic all right, so another pinch grip exercise here. You get two plates like this, right? You stick them together and don't be a turkey and put the, uh, the edge of the plate on the outside. See how there's like that little bit of a lip? Makes it way easier. Turn it around to the smooth side like this. I'm gonna use lightweight here because I'm tired and I wanna look like a little girl again. So, um, yep, and you just grab it with a hand like that, pick it up and hold it. And when that gets too easy, go use bigger plates. All right, now this one here is another one that everybody should be able to do because all you need is a barbell. Now, this one has been made famous by Ed Cohn, and that's actually where I saw this, and that's why I started doing it initially. And if you think about it, it makes a lot of sense, and it's really freaking hard, so um, it's really good for your ego, too. Or bad for it, however you look at it. And all you do, you know, you know, just maybe just start with the bar, but then afterwards you load plates on there, whatever, make it hard. You kind of use this hand over here to maybe counterbalance yourself a little bit. You grab the bar, you pick it up, and maybe hold it for like 30 seconds and just gradually try to get stronger and stronger at this movement. Now this one's really good for one because obviously it's really hard to hold on to with one hand, but then two, you have to control the bar from tilting, going side to side like this. So that just requires like, you know, more muscles to keep it from, you know, staying, stay, or to keep it in balance. So another great one that can be done anywhere. All right, so that's pretty much gonna be it. Um, maybe a couple other things that I could mention in there is gonna be all the back work that I do. I do it all without straps, other than whenever I'm doing really heavy rows or heavy shrugs. Those are the only things I use straps for, but you know, the pull-ups, the one-arm dumbbell rows, lat pull-downs, you name it. I'm doing them um, pretty much without straps, and that's building my grip strength as well. I usually deadlift a lot without straps too, but this one, just throwing it in on your little extra day of the week, shouldn't be too hard to do unless you're lazy. Don't be lazy. Just go in and do it. Don't lose your grip on the deadlift. Yeah, so building your grip is great, whether it be for you're wanting to hold on to your deadlifts better, you're trying to shake that guy's hand real hard, you're wanting, you want to open jars for, for your girlfriend because she can't do it. I do it all the time. And it's just a practical, useful thing to do. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other examples of why grip strength's good. I don't know, maybe get some uh, good-looking forearms, something like that. All right, I'm mumbling on a little bit too much. I hope you guys learned something today. I know it wasn't anything too exciting. That's just how simple the grip training is. Those are the exercises I like to do. Thank you for watching. See ya.